This is my 2002 F-150 and I'm having a problem where I can't open the rear door on the driver's side. So I'm going to show you guys how to take all this paneling off and maybe we can figure out just what's going on. So I'm going to have to get at it from the other side. There are two panels that I have to remove. The first one is the upper one. You just need to remove the two Phillips screws. Just pull it straight out. There we go. Those are the clips that hold it in. And I didn't break any so far, so that's great. Now this other panel, from what I can tell, there are two Phillips and this nut right here. Start with the Phillips. So these doors, the rear doors, they have an upper and a lower latch. I can't really tell which one is uh, not unlatching, but I know there's a cable that runs to both of them, and I suspect that I have an issue with the cable. I don't have a nut driver that's the correct size, so hopefully I can get it with these pliers here. So this looks like it comes straight up. There we go, lift it up. That's what's left of my plastic push pin right there. I don't need that though. Let me set this aside. And I'm going to take this off so I can get a better look at it. I believe this is called the vapor seal. You want to be careful not to rip it and you may want to actually tape it back up if it doesn't adhere back like it should. Anyways, I've got this open. I can see more of what's going on. This is the cable that runs to the bottom latch. And I can see that it's actually still stuck in the bracket. It's still in the bracket, which is good. And the problem is with my upper cable. It's hard to see with this camera, but you can see it's popped out of the bracket. So when you pull on the door, the whole cable moves and it doesn't unlatch the top. It will, however, unlatch the bottom, which is why the door opens a little bit. I can temporarily fix this by popping this cable back into this place right here. Now, the door will open all the way. I know they sell replacement cables. That might be something that I look into but for now, I believe I'm just gonna try to throw a zip tie in there to hold it in place. I'm not really sure how you get the cable out, but <laughs> if, uh, if you have to do that, maybe you should record that. Anyways, that's how you get to the mechanism. 
Um, some of you may have a problem with this, in which case it looks like you're gonna have to drill out these rivets. And to that I say good luck, sincerely. Looks like a pain in the butt. Lucky for me, I'm gonna be able to fix this with just a zip tie around here to hold this cable in place. So that's that. Let me know if you've got any questions. So I threw a zip tie in here and its purpose is to prevent this from popping out of the top of the bracket. As long as I can get this to hang out up there, then every time I pull this latch, it will pull on that cable. You can see the bottom part of the cable that broke off. It's just floating there, right in there. Yeah, but from here I can just put everything back together. Should be good to go. And I've actually discovered that I can look through here and I could actually see before I even took any of this apart, I could have looked in here to see if there's a problem with the cable. Got all this tightened up. Now I can throw this into place. You're gonna wanna line these clips up here. All right. All right, I'm good to go. Door's fixed for now. If it breaks again, I'll probably man up and just buy the cables. But until then, I'm pretty happy with how easy this was to fix.